Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. I figured we'd get the Februarys out of the way, and then we'll go back to the weeklies. So this could happen at any time in February, and this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to start right here and get an overall energy. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? One card, please. What do we have for Gemini? Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Now this is a union. This is a partnership of some sort. This is love. This is a happy couple. You could be falling in love with somebody. Love A relationship could be deepening to another level. This is harmony, balance, equality, attraction. Okay, a mutual attraction. This is mutual respect between two people. So this is a connection. You're going to be connecting with somebody on a deep level in February. You could be, you know, going out for coffee or meeting up with somebody and chatting, talking, getting to know another person. I feel like this person is not your usual type. There could be a difference in culture or race or whatever it is. This person is not like you. Okay? There's some differences there, but it looks like it's a perfect match. I think you probably have a lot in common with this person. There's definitely an ease about this connection. So let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Gemini? Oh goodness, that's a whole pile. We're not going to take it. We'll take that one. What do we have for Gemini? Ooh. Tower. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Now this tower isn't falling. So you may be building a solid foundation. You may not even know it. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Uh oh. In November. Something about the month of November. Could have to go back to last November. Or something may have happened in November. This person could be born in November. Or next November could be prominent. Um something about November now the wheel when I see a wheel I think of the wheel of fortune I do I mean so you you may have to allow something to happen you know the wheel of fortune is about destined change but this says indecisiveness you're uh, and this is about a decision as well you're probably gonna have to make a choice of some sort there's an opportunity to build a foundation, but you will have to make an effort. Let's get one of these for love. What do we have for Gemini for love? What do we have for Gemini? One card, please. Oh my God. Taurus got this as well. So apparently, <laughs> I need to hear it. Anyhow, it's safe for you to love because I'm, I'm Taurus, Gemini. A lot of you already know that. I'm one minute from being Gemini. No joke. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. So you're going to need to open your heart this month. Oh my God. And on the bottom of the deck, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So you have an opportunity for love here. You're going to have to put in effort. You're going to have to put in effort. And I feel like there's some sort of fear here. 
You've been allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Now you have to make a choice because you have an opportunity here for a solid foundation with somebody. Can you let go of your fear? I don't know if you can. Um, what do we what do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Two of Cups can be a proposal. It can be meeting somebody out of the blue. It's a, it's definitely a connection. Okay, it's a love connection. Ah, now the Seven of Cups reversed is clarity, seeing clearly, making a choice making a clear choice. You're going to have to make a choice between two because of the two right there. You're going to have to make a choice. Ah, three of wands reversed. Now this is unprepared. You're not really prepared for it to make this choice. Ah, six of wands. Now six of wands is the hero card. This is somebody that is... Uh, this is victory, making progress, but this is in your past. You may have ended some sort of battle. Uh, you may have, this is the end of a battle. It's the end of the fight. It, this, the war is over, right? Seeing very clearly, this is clarity. Needing to make a choice in regards to your future, but kind of stuck. The three of wands reverse, kind of stuck. You're gonna to have to make a choice. You may have a, you may have somebody that that is. Uh, I mean, this is somebody that is a warrior. So I'm not sure if you have somebody that is coming in or has come into your life. That is, this person is a fighter. They're a warrior. They're a hero. They're this is this is somebody who has fought a hard battle. They're done fighting. They just want to relax now. Um, this person has dark hair. If that matters to any of you. Anyhow, um, dark, dark hair. Um, but this is seeing very, very clearly. This is gaining clarity. But unprepared. With a three of wands reverse. That's, that's not prepared. That's like oh, lack of foresight. What is this three of wands? Okay. Chariot. Now this is moving in a new direction. This is willpower. This is discipline. This is taking charge. This is traveling, taking a journey, um, getting in the driver's seat, going for a ride. May have something to do with a car. This may have something to do with a vehicle or a car or moving, moving very, very fast, facing opposition, facing fears, replacing your fear with faith. Uh, now we get the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is... Uh, not really making any moves. This is stalling. I feel like you're going to stall. You're going to try to stall. Or you're dealing with somebody that is stalling. This is a delay. This is these are both delays. But this one isn't. This is taking taking the taking the the uh driver's seat, getting in the driver's seat, taking charge. Maybe that's after there's been some sort of delay because this is something being delayed. This is no long-term plan. You know, weren't planning on it. Weren't planning on it. You weren't planning on moving so fast. Oh, you weren't planning on this. You're totally unprepared for it. There's, I feel like there's somebody arriving because this is an arrival of some sort or somebody is taking action, you know, to because they're both cards of victory. So it's like making progress. Some, I feel like there's somebody that this is a victory this is a winner you know this is somebody that doesn't give up that um has persevered through some sort of setback already you have somebody here that is very strong very noble very um protective this is somebody that is very protective that is probably it feels like this person is entering they're entering your world by the looks of things anyhow this is moving in a new direction very very fast because this is a fast moving energy totally unprepared for it oh boy yep 
chariot. The chariot is determination. It's a time of trans transformation as well. And hard work. The chariot's about hard work. Mastering emotions. You're going to need to master your emotions. And, you know, maybe you need to leave the past behind. Because this is lack of foresight. Missing an opportunity. Focusing on the past. Maybe you need to focus on the future. You have a future here. You have a you have a future that you should be focusing on. Stop stalling. This looks like we have some procrastination here. Maybe even laziness, you know, with a knight of pentacles reversed. That's uh, you know, not really putting in any effort. And it says success with effort over here. It's like, I feel like you have an opportunity for a union here, but you have to put in effort. Or somebody that you're dealing with may not be putting in much effort. Somebody's not putting in much effort. Mm. Mm. Two of Cups reversed. Now, Two of Cups reversed is some sort of separation. Moving in a new direction, separating from somebody that's not putting in effort. You're gonna, and this is your choice. Oh, so you may have to find your determination and your discipline in your willpower to separate from somebody that may have not put in effort. This person didn't see your value. Because uh, this is a lack of value and this is lack of foresight. They didn't see your value. Now it's time for you to focus forward. You know, this is forward. Focus focus on the future. Stop focusing on the past. Yeah, I feel like this month you're probably going to have to... You're going to be seeing something clearly about a partnership. You definitely have a choice between two people here. There's one person in the past and there's one person now in the future. And they're, whoever this person is in the future is not your usual type. They are not. They're not. They're, I feel like they're a different um, culture of some sort. Anyhow, um, this is a separation. Moving. Moving forward. Getting in the driver's seat. Ah, Nine of Cups reversed. Now, the Nine of Cups reverse is unable to give or receive love. You've been dealing with somebody who hasn't been a partner that hasn't been putting in effort in giving you the love that you need. And I feel like you're starting to see. I feel like you, or you are, you really do see, you know. You really, really, really do see it. I feel like you, maybe you've got somebody else here that is pursuing you and you're starting to realize you know, that whoever you've been dealing with, they're not putting in any effort. They're not coming forward. It's a missed opportunity with the three of wands reversed. Somebody may have missed their opportunity with you. Maybe you're moving forward now, you know, and this nine of cups reversed is, uh, I don't know. I think that you've got somebody that is around you that is miserable. This person is miserable. They're always in a bad mood. Uh, they have low self-esteem. They have lack of self-confidence. Uh, I don't know. They may have some sort of disorder as well, you know. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is emotionally dysfunctional. And I feel like they're, or they're emotionally unavailable. And, they're, and you're going to have to choose whether you want to go with this person that you have so much in common with. You know, that's easy or continue to procrastinate and delay the inevitable about moving on. Because I feel like you have an opportunity to go in a new direction towards happiness. But you have to make a clear choice. You have to step outside of fantasy. You step out of illusion, you know, and uh, choose the easy route instead of the, the, the route that isn't. You know, where there's no reciprocation. I feel like there's you're dealing with somebody that doesn't really have respect for you. They aren't reciprocating. They aren't fulfilling your dreams. And, and you have another opportunity here. You definitely do. 
So I feel like you're going to definitely have to make a choice this month. You have a winner here. You have somebody that is probably going to be fighting for your attention. You know, they want your attention. I feel like they, this is a noble individual, but you also have a partner from, uh, I don't know, this is a partnership. I feel like it's from the past because this is not focusing on the future that is still in your energy that you need to stop. Okay, you need to stop. Um focusing on you know you need to stop focusing on that person um ten of swords so ten of swords is suffering it's painful it's a painful experience it's pain and suffering so you're you're going to be experiencing some pain and suffering okay uh, but this is also the death of a situation so i do feel like we have a partnership that is ending and i feel like you have an opportunity for another partnership here that is more aligned with you where it's just easy where you can just be yourself you know um so yeah this is the death of a of of a one partnership i believe and i think that you have an opportunity for another one okay um now the 10 of swords is giving up Okay, it's giving up. It's over. Goodbye. Goodbye. And the chariot is goodbye as well. So it's like turning your back on this unrealistic situation with whoever you've been dealing with that is lazy. Maybe they're jealous as well. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they're very unpredictable. They're not really solid. They... Um, they could be a miserable person, you know, they're always miserable, obsessive, compulsive, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who's obsessive, compulsive, you know, and I think that you need to find your mental strength with that chariot card. You need to, to say no. I feel like you need to, you need to say, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I, I, I want easiness. I want, I want a connection that is, you know, more aligned with me. So anyway, I do feel like you have a new opportunity for love here you know, to deepen a bond with somebody that you, I feel like it starts out as, as friends or something like that. And it grows very, very fast. And I feel like you're totally unprepared for the, for the feelings that come about with this. You know, it's like you're unprepared. You're unprepared to make this choice, right? Um, hmm. Nine of Wands reverse. That's avoiding challenge. You may be staying put in a situation that is causing you pain to avoid challenge. Maybe even it could be self protection. Sometimes we stay holding on to somebody that doesn't really love us. It's self protection, you know. It's to protect ourselves from getting hurt again, you know. Um, I feel like you've you've been wounded or you've been extremely hurt. You may be angry. You may be have some great personal fear, and it could be subconscious. You may have these this this subconscious protect protective barrier around you that uh, that keeps you holding on to something that isn't practical. And I feel like you need to. I feel like you need to release it. I feel like you need to release it. I think you have another opportunity here that is better um, suited for you. And all you have to do is open your eyes and see it for what it is. And that's going to take a lot of strength. And it's going to take discipline. And it's going to take determination. And I'm saying that because of the chariot. You're going to have to control your emotions. I feel like there's somebody that is coming towards you or that is in your... This person may have may be work with cars or something like that. This person, I feel like they're miserable. I feel like they're miserable. I feel like they don't really want to... Uh, they're not emotionally available, you know. Or you just may not be aligned with this person. There could be disharmony in the partnership or some sort of disconnection or an imbalance or this person doesn't respect you or something or they're very dominant or they're obsessive or something like that. And I feel like you you have to make a clear choice on, in regards to, you know, uh, what your, what your uh, boundaries are, you know, what you deserve. So anyhow... Um, I think whoever you, you're with or, or have been with or whatever, they, they, uh, have hurt, they've hurt you in some way and you probably don't trust them. 
You probably don't trust them because of the pain that they have caused. And maybe this person has caused you so much pain that you don't even trust a union at all, a partnership. I see mistrust here, a fear of false beginnings, fear of getting involved. I have to tell you that whoever this person is that you are getting together with this month, this person is um, noble. This person is noble. This person is respected. This person is of good character. I would, I would, I would uh, try to let your guard down and just have fun with this person, you know. Sun. The sun is about happiness. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. This is a yes answer. This is joy, happiness, a warm place, being accepted, healing. You have a new beginning. This is this is the sun is a new beginning, and the sun is about love. This is a bright future. So I I do believe that you have a big bright opportunity here that could bring you happiness. But it's going to be up to you with the seven of cups. The seven of cups is your choice. You know, you can choose to be an illusion. You can choose to hold on to fantasy. Or you can choose, you know, a bright future that could make you happy with somebody that you're more aligned with. The choice is going to be yours. I feel like you've been trying to prove yourself to somebody that may already be in a relationship with somebody else. You're going to have to make a choice this month and you are going to become clear of what you need to do. There is something, somebody that is coming in that is, a, I feel like they're a perfect match for you. This is enlightenment, okay? This, this person could make you extremely happy. So yeah, I feel like you need to let your guard down. You need to uh, move in that new direction. You take the wheel. Take Charge, take the power away from whoever this person is that has neglected you. So anyway, Gemini, I feel like this month you have a new opportunity with somebody that is not your usual type. And it could lead to success. It could, I mean, the, the six of wands is a win. I do see you moving in a new direction. Okay, that's the Six of Swords moving in a new direction. If we can get it to zoom in, you know how it likes to mess with me. That's going in a new direction that is taking a journey, getting your life back on track. This is a wake up call of some sort. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to be moving away from somebody that. Caused you a lot of, I think they betrayed you. I think they betrayed you. I think that they hurt you. I feel like they didn't care if they hurt you. All they cared about was their ego. And I feel like you're moving away from that person. And you're headed towards something more peaceful. More in, in alignment with you. So this month, wherever it is that you're going, and you're, it's like you're traveling to this person. It's like, you're, it feels like we have something to do with vehicle here. I don't know why the vehicle is so prominent, but you're traveling towards this person. Or they're traveling towards you. Meeting up. Maybe you're having drinks or something like that. I don't know. Anyhow, um, yeah. I feel like this month is, is, is a month where you become enlightened about a partner that you are not aligned with and you have another opportunity <laughs> just like that. Good luck.